Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm at home. I shouldn't be here, but we have a little man. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, after the summer holidays, I started work full time again. Um, and Ruben goes to preschool full time. Unfortunately, uh, Wednesday afternoon, oh well, Tuesday evening after school, we took Ruben to have his flu vaccination, um, which is not an injection, they squirt the medicine up his nose or the vaccine up his nose. Um, and kind of when he went to school on Wednesday, you kind of go, oh, he's had his flu vaccination, so he might have some cold like symptoms, but it's the vaccine. And then they rang John lunchtime saying that he was a bit warm and we're like, that's the flu vaccine. Um, and then said that he'd done um, a loose poop, shall we say. Um, and basically come and get him. He can't, you know, he now needs to do a full, after the day of the loose poop, um, he needs 48 hours before he's allowed to come back, which because it was a Wednesday afternoon meant he couldn't go back to school until Monday. Fabulous. Well, technically he could have gone to school on Saturday if they were open, but you know what I mean. Um, so John took yesterday off for of work and had him, but he had stuff on today. So, and I took today off for of work um, uh, to do childcare. And it's tricky because he's feeling better and he has asked to go to school today. But he's not allowed to um and he's a little bit like he's not quite right and like the poops are normal so i don't know if it's just the flu vaccine um yeah he's very cuddly so it's probably best that he's not at school but yes we have a friday at home with nothing planned um apart from keeping mr reuben happy and hopefully getting the house looking like something because uh we've been back from holiday what a fortnight uh I, no i won't go sure i was gonna say i am fully peeling um it's grim uh and yeah still trying to play catch up uh mostly because of the weather uh every time we wash anything it feels like it's taking days to dry um because it's so, so damp out but yeah so it's a homey day for me and Reuben. Things I need to do, I need to wrap. Um, my anniversary is our anniversary on Monday, so I need to wrap the anniversary present. I have a home bargains haul to record and just generally tidy up and try and entertain Mr. Reuben. Yeah, that's our day. Right, John, like, it's, it looks really bright. Hi, baby. You want to say hello? Hello. Oh, are you happy? And <laughs> is it do you want some toast? Yes. Yes, let's not pick our nose. Let's not pick our nose. You okay? Yes. Come on then. Hurt. You hurt? What did you hurt? I hurt my elbow and hurt You hurt your elbow? Is that better? Yes. Oh yes. Mr. Ruben. My elbow. That was your elbow, right? Should we have some toast? Uh, uh, apple. Let's have some toast, yeah? Okay. I haven't moved. Ruben's run off and look who's come up. Hello, Darwin. Yeah, our old boy. We're still being punished for being on holiday from Darwin. It's getting on a bit, bless him. You think we got him in 2011. And he was 2-3 from the rescue centre, I reckon. So what's that? That's 13-4-15. Bless him. Feeling a little... Sad thing, we have days where we think, oh, he's a bit confused. Um, and he's a little bit, doesn't want to get out of bed. And then, you know, he'll play like a puppy solidly for three days. So it's like, I don't know. Old, old dog worries. It's fine. He's deleting, drinking. We're not having accidents. But there's just certain days where he's like, he looks a little frail. But then he will run around with a toy for 20 minutes having the zoomies, so I don't know. All right, let's make Ruben some breakfast. Hello, so everybody has had breakfast. Everybody's teeth are clean. 
Um, we are dressed to some format. Uh, Ruben is refusing to wear trousers. Um, I think in his mind, with like life with the potty, it's easier with shorts. Trying to explain to him that leggings come down just as easy as shorts just isn't being taken on board. And I'm like, let's pick our battles. So, uh, yeah, heating's on, really got shorts on. Um, Dora the Explorer is on. I've got a little washing on. Um, I'm going to try and record my home bargains haul while Ruben is distracted by Dora. Um, even though I look like this. But you don't look, watch a video to look at me for the hauls. You want to look at the stuff anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah. I'm going to make a coffee first and then that's what I'm going to do. Hello, so Mr. Ruben has gone down for a nap. It's so, feels a bit silly because we went through all that effort in the summer to drop the nap. Uh, preparation, full time at preschool. Um, and it worked for like the first two weeks of... Um, yeah, the first two weeks of going back to school. And then obviously we went on holiday. And I think he had a nap every day apart from one of the days when we were in Greece. That feels like a lifetime ago now <laughs> that we were in Greece. Um, but yeah, he, I think he napped all but one of the days. Um, and then he's pretty much had a nap every day. Like, we came back from holiday and it took him a couple of days to get back into the swing of things. Um, and yeah, this would have been his first full week back at school. Obviously they sent him home on Wednesday. He had a nap on Wednesday, he had a nap yesterday, and now he's having a nap today. So it's like, yeah, it's just the way it is. He obviously his little body needs it. I'm not quite sure how long to let him have. Because um, I think if, you're, if it's like a germy nap, then his body needs it, so I should let him sleep, and in theory is he should sleep again tonight, but the whole reason why we kind of wanted to get over the nap thing is so bedtime was better. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have a coffee, I'm going to record a hobbycraft haul, and, you know, I think I'm going to give him an hour. Yeah, I'm going to give him an hour. I honestly can't think if I've spoken to a camera since Ruben woke up, but I had to wake him up. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. And we've had a very tearful, very grumpy boy since that point, because he didn't want to be woken up. But the fear was it would impact bedtime. So, yeah. Tearful, not my friend, but clingy all at the same time, which is not his normal demeanor. So it does kind of prove that he is even though he's now destroying the living room, he is not feeling fabulous. Um, the poor kid's lived on toast since Wednesday tea time. He has requested peas and nuggets. You wanna open the box? Okay, okay mum will do. Um, yeah, he's been requesting nuggets and peas all afternoon. And um, if I'd only eaten toast and drank milk since Wednesday, I'd want that too by Friday tea time. So that's what I'm doing. We're having corn, chicken nuggets, some potato stars, and some peas. I don't know if I'm right. I'm probably wrong, but you got to try, haven't you? Oh, something there. Delightful. Uh, Ruben is finally in bed. Uh, proper fight tonight, um, which hasn't really happened since we've been back off holiday. But yeah, took a bit of work tonight. Uh, John's got St. Helens and some French team on. I've popped up me autumnal little garland thing. And tea is in the oven. And it's tea time and tonight we've got cod and these aren't triple cooked chips. They are beer battered chips from Waitrose. Uh, peas, dead simple, should be good. And that is bedtime. Um, we watched the rugby. The wrong team won. 
Um, we watched this week's Bake Off. It was Biscuit Week. It was good. Um, did feel sorry. I quite like the chap that went away, that went home this week. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is Saturday. Um, got a play date in the morning, and then I'm getting my Halloween nails. I think that's the only plans for tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to bed. Night, guys.